The ballistic band's overhead extensions and crunch is gonna be a combination move working to failure. First, get your body a little bit loose with three sets of 10 crunches. Mount your ballistic band high and then pull that band down around your neck, but you're gonna hold that band away from your neck. Now we're gonna just complete simple crunch position moves with your pad out just a little bit to get great activation. As you can see, your abs are gonna start firing up a little bit with that three sets of tens, but now we're gonna move our pad back a little bit and work for extension. You're gonna be trying to work down in a flat body position, but technique is key here so that we don't injure ourselves. Your hand should be above your head with your elbows still in front of your face. If you let your elbows rock up too much behind your head, you're gonna hurt your shoulders. So make sure that your hands are in front of your face and you've got a great stationary position. The next key that we gotta look at is our hips. If your hips are not rolled under, you're gonna have a little hyperextended back. We've gotta maintain great posture during this exercise. It's a bit of a pulse. You're falling into resistance. So we've gotta find the right level of resistance that equals our body weight. If you train with a lighter band, you're gonna find your face comes really close to the floor and we don't exactly want that. So find a band that offsets the amount of resistance that your body is providing on the way down. Give it a slight activation pulse and you'll come towards the ground and then you'll work your way up. Utilize your toes and your feet to kind of work as a lever to extend down faster or slower. As you get towards the floor, we've got to keep those hands in front and keep your hips underneath you. If this is a new position for you, you're almost going to feel like you're curled up in a ball slightly. But as you get used to it, you're going to be able to keep your butt cheeks squeezed and your hips rolled under, getting great activation, keeping our spine safe. Complete 10 to 12 of these pulsing reps and then hold for 10 seconds seconds at the bottom. Your abs are gonna be on fire, but push through the 10 seconds and then roll right into the overhead crunch. This superset is really gonna overload your abs, so push yourself and maintain that great technique and you're gonna find some great gains in your core.